This is a quick tutorial on how you can take your data from your simple AdWords video campaign to compare your video against your classmates video with respect to your view to impression ratios for your in-stream ad campaigns. We'll be doing a basic chi-square test using an online chi-square calculator found at the Social Science Statistics website. This website is SOCSCI Statistics Dot com. Once you're there, you're going to click up here where it says calculators. Then you'll move down where you'll see find the chi-square calculator for 2 by 2 contingency table. Because we're doing two groups times two categories, then we can use this table. You click it. You can look at the information about the chi-square calculator. You can even look at the equation down here and do the entire equation and do it without using the calculator but you might want to go ahead and click on the chi-square calculator instead. And once you're here, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to fill in the groups and the categories. So for group one, that's just basically the video one. Um, you can call it, you know, my awesome video because I'm sure your video is awesome. And for group two, that will be your classmates video. And you can use that video. And for category one, category one will be the people who viewed your video, so viewed, and then category two will be the not viewed groups. When you're done entering your group and category labels, then you can click next to take a look at entering your group and category values. To get those values, we need to go over to AdWords and take a look at what those values are as far as how our campaign has run. To find this data, click on the Add Groups tab on the left of your AdWords account. And what you'll get is you'll get the two groups here for the in-stream or the in-display, also called video discovery, and you'll get that data for your particular campaign. It will show you the maximum cost per view that you had input, in this particular case, if it's one penny, then the average cost per view will also be one penny. It'll show your impressions, the views, the view rate, which would be views over impressions, the average cost per the view, and then the overall cost. And the overall cost will be the number of views times the average cost per view. Now, if you'd like to, you can go ahead and take a look at that view rate of 54.24% in this case. And you can calculate it by taking the views, in this case 653, and dividing it by the 1204 impressions. And in this case, we see the 54.24% here, 5424. And that would be that 54.24%. Just in case you wanted to check and make sure Google wasn't lying to you. From here, what we want to do is we want to focus then on the in-stream group and not necessarily on the in-display group, mainly because the in-display group is going to have so few views and such a small view rate. So you want to compare in-stream versus in-stream. Let's take a look first at the impressions. There's 1,204 impressions, 653 views. If I consider that then, I can know that the view rate as we calculated was 54.24, but when we think about that, the way we set up our table for our chi-square test, we looked at the number of views and we looked at the number of non-views. So we're going to have to make a little calculation here, and in this particular case what we'll do is we'll just take the 1,204 impressions, we'll subtract out the number of people who viewed the video, 653, and what we'll have left, this 551, this will be our number of non-views. So remember those two numbers, views at 653 and non-views at 551. So if we go back to the chi-square calculator, the number of views was 653. The number of people who did not view the video was the 1204 minus the 653 
or the 551. Now we'll have to make sure we get that data from our classmate and be able to input that data as well. Let's say in their particular case that they had 731 views and their overall number of impressions was 1,483. So you would take the 1,483, you'd subtract that from that, the 731, and your result would be 752 non-views. Once you have those numbers in your chi-square calculator, you click Next. And in this case, it already puts the significance level at 0 0.05. You can just leave it right there. You can go down and calculate the chi-square. Before you move on, though, take a look here. It'll show you the marginal column totals. That's the number of views that both of your videos had in total, the number of non-views in total. And if you look across this My Awesome Video, your video, it will show your views and it will show your marginal row total. This is the total number of impressions that you received. Remember, you took 1204 minus 653, and that's how you got your non-views, which was 551. So now we go on and we calculate the chi-square. In this particular case, it will give you the chi-square as 6.5. It will tell you the p-value. If that p-value is less than 0.05, then the result will be significant. What that means is that there really is a difference in those view to impression ratios. Now you can calculate the view to impression ratio, although already on yours you knew that the 551, or excuse me, the 653 over the 1204, that that was 54.24%. And if your classmate did not give you the calculation for his or her view rate, then you could calculate that fairly easily by taking the number of views, in this case 731, and dividing that by the total number of impressions here, that's the views plus the non-views of 1483, and their view to impression rate would be 49.29%. So yours was 54.24%, the other video 49.29%, and in this particular case, you can make the claim that your video truly was at least awesomer than your classmate's video. Let's take one more look at this and see what would happen if this p-value was not less than Let's say that instead of 752 non-views, that your classmate had 635. When you press next, and then calculate chi-square, in this case what's happening is, because there's not enough of a difference in the percentages, it's going to say that the p-value is not significant. So if you were to calculate your classmate's view rate in this particular case, it would be the 731 divided by the 1366 overall impressions. And that was 52 or excuse me, 53.51%. So even though yours is 54.24 and the other person's is 53.51, According to the data and the chi-square calculation, this is not a significant difference. That means that you cannot really say that your video is more awesome than your classmate's video. One other thing I want to mention here is when you're looking at this information on your ad groups, 
is to look over here at earned views. Now notice that your earned views for, in this particular case, the earned views for InStream, even though InStream has a really high view rate, the earned views are zero. Yet, even though this tiny little view rate for video discovery or in display is small, the earned views are four. And what this is showing us is that video discovery means the person clicked here on purpose, they're active, and they may then click on other videos that you have on your channel. Whereas the in stream, because it's passive, it's less likely they're going to click and you're going to get those earned views. And so even though we get all excited about the idea that we have a view rate that's higher for in stream, the truth is this in display is actually giving us something extra by giving this these earned views. Just a little side note to, to give you there. Have fun with this assignment. If you have questions, send me a message on Blackboard. Thanks.